Hello guys, we're back here for another episode of Urban Design on City Skylines. Episode number 5 now, I believe. Um, we further progressed uh, after last episode, where we worked on a lot of these park areas to make this whole city look a bit more joined together. Um, we've increased our population. Uh, we've averted the little crisis that we've had over here in this industry area where we didn't have enough population. So hopefully that's sorted itself out. Um, and as promised last episode, we've got about, we have 90k now in the bank. So we are making some decent cash. Um, I was thinking of perhaps going into our budget and loans and pay off our debt. We've got 32,000 uh, left, so and we could potentially be making 3k um, in income. So this hard business at the start was very hard, but as you can see, once you get into it and you're looking after things specifically and uh, in a controlled manner, you can get away with a lot of things. Now, first of all, we need to increase our water budget. Our water is running very close to max, so we're going to go straight to our budget and increase our water to 100%. Our landfill will increase to 90%, although we don't really have to, So, but just to be safe. Now, let's do this. We're going to work on our connections over here. So I think what I'm going to do is make a temporary connection um, into our neighborhood and a temporary connection for the highway. So what I'm going to do is right here, make a connection like this, which goes in this direction. Now this will cost us a bit, but I want to keep the simulation running. This is the essential part that I'm trying to do. And let me just connect this all up like so. Okay. And if people would like to go to this neighborhood, um, they will be able to via this connection. Temporary connection. Okay. And with that done, I think we can actually start working on our highway. Okay, so we'll remove this. As soon as vehicles are coming here and past, we can remove that. Okay, excellent. So now that we have no vehicles here, can step by step remove this. I'm just trying to get rid of all these vehicles. Okay. There we go. And now let's just join this up to here like that. As these guys go past, I uh, will remove this road connection over here. This one. There we go. Now I'm staying on slow speed because I want to make sure that everything stays under control while I'm building all of this and that I'm still making some sort of an income so I just don't completely blow my budget. So in the meantime, I've created all the uh, diversion roads so that simulation can keep playing <clears throat> so now continuing this across and now that continuing across we can work on creating this road to go directly underneath and across but no we can't use this Obviously, it's something always in the way with this highway. OK, 
Okay. And now let's just join it across like so. Perfect. And now I'm going to create our connections. So what I'm going to do is as close as possible then I guess. Yes, that's the way we're going to be doing it. Not exactly ideal of how I wanted it. But it will have to do I guess. Or it won't do. No, it won't do. So, I'm going to make it a little bit further away. Or no, or yes, I don't know. In this area. So if I build it, here's, here's what I'm trying to do. Let's just build these straight sections for the time being. Remove that. Continue this across. Join up this highway. Easy. Okay. And now, the idea is to, uh, if I were to build this road over here, that doesn't really give me much space to plant trees to look pretty. Well, it does the job though. Should I create more of a gap? I think a larger gap is required. In all honesty. So we'll scrap that. And we will do what I wanted to do. And we'll use the fancy road because I don't want any cars to be parked on the side over here. So with that done, we've got more space plant these trees in like so and that yeah that looks definitely a lot better okay so that's what we're going with uh, now a near road which enters and the highway now on ramp so we'll make this go as long as we can 1025, okay. Go up by another 600. And we'll join it up like so. Okay, done. And now to make this look nice, we'll just continue to the design by adding these trees and now these are my favorite size I mean my favorite trees to put as borders around on these highways to hide the uh, ramps um, they're about I think they're just about the right size as you can see when you're driving it really hides the roads very well uh, with this highway ramp now straight away we're going to change the orientation like so okay and now we need to extend this road so that we can build our next highway section which is right here here and uh, no wow that's going to set me back a bit in terms of cash up here and to here okay and now it's a, just a matter of continuing this road we can find it out to here same goes to this side and now we need the one directional road over here like so now if we see we just removed a couple of trees here yes and now if I remove the, and those trees though they may not appear they still count towards the maximum count level of how many trees because as soon as I delete this look they pop straight back so I'm going to remove them 
so I can at least put two extra trees somewhere else. So now let's just finish up this side now. There we go. And we need to add. Why are you guys doing driving all the way out to here? There's nothing out here. So silly. Okay. Do the ramp over here. And now the highway. Let's go up as far as we can allow it to. Jeez. 10, 25 is it? Yep. And we did a segment of 600. And then we joined it up. Okay, so that's done. We can join this up. Put the nice trays in. There we go. That looks good. Now we need to work on the other side. So continue this highway across both ends as you can see we're still making income we're making 3.2 now we have more demand for residential this is fantastic okay so maybe we can quickly put some resi extra residential in yep that's what I'm gonna do so just continue plop this out to here pop that here can we join it up yes we can Color all that in. Water, yes, now there is. So that should suffice for the time being. Hopefully. Okay, now. That's not going to work. So anyway, we'll go back to where we need to be. That's over here. We're on an off ramp. And actually, now I'm thinking about it, we can actually just make that into a straight on ramp onto the highway. Same over here. And now let's just remove that tree and let's increase the height. 25, go out to 600 and join you up. No, nope, don't have to extend that road. Same over here. Up to 950, 600. Alright, so this side I can do. side over here it's completely unnecessary for the time being nice smooth connection okay that's good now we can potentially connect our highway up at least on one side so what I'm gonna do is this is going to be a temporary connection. Let this go down and connect. So we might start. To <coughs> Excuse me. We might start seeing some vehicles start to use this highway. Right now, just 
just a temporary connection. One of the facilities is full, so that's not good. But we've got another one, 12% full, so that's fine. Um, what we can do now is add more trees into this area now, since this is being finished up. There we go. Now I need to change this road in the middle over here to the fancy one. Same goes with this. Done. And now I've got grass, the grass ones over here. The, gra uh, the roads with uh, uh, electricity. We need electricity. Yes, we do. Quickly, let's place another power output. Come on. Kick in. Anytime soon? There we go. Alright, so we had enough electricity now. Just in case we were running a bit short there, weren't we? Um, now I think... Uh, yes, I know, not think. I know that we can connect our highway system now. There we go. Remove that. As soon as power is flowing, which it is, this area needs. Yep, alright. Remove these power lines. And now it's time to press pause quickly. And do a temporary connection with this highway. Like so. And to be lifted even further. That pause. Now why have you, you should be high enough. You are. Okay. Remove this. Remove these trees from in here. This highway connection is now properly functioning and working. Excellent. Now I need to connect the other one. So as soon as this car passes by, there we go. And off you go. Pause the game. Start all in some of this. We'll just continue this path along. There we go. And now I can connect this highway up and that's all done and connected excellent so now just finish this whole interchange over with these trees there we go and our interchange has been completed Excellent, exciting. Vehicles should not be required to use this anymore. Alright, uh, yes, we'll need to keep that and need to keep this. And as soon as these vehicles finish using that, they'll be out of here. Right now, uh, we can add another park perhaps over here. At first, uh, one way road. There we go. All done. Very nice. Now I'm going to add this whole section with more commercial just to close it off. We're gonna have little areas here where, with um, offices. But how far are we from that? We need what population? We need 
4,800. So only 600 away. So let's quickly get to that population if we can. We need more industrial. Uh, so our industrial area has completely filled up. So we'll, let's fill it up a bit more over here. Now I'm hoping that we will have water connection. Yes, all of it is, has connection with water. Now we can start working on our area over here. Um, yes, like so. Remove this road. I have got an idea we can actually just even continue out this way. Pause this for a second. Remove that. And join you up with a curve. Very nice. And now we've got more spaces available here for more residents. It's all starting to be a, also a bit random. There's not there's quite a lot of um, rectangular shapes around. But there's also few areas with different um yeah angles so it keep, keeps um a bit of uh what shall i call it a variety randomness um can add another park over here can we fit it in Yes and no. Yes. The yes, answer will be yes. Let's see. Um, yes, we will be able to do this. Just press play. And now, I'm going to the parks. And let's join it up like that. And this area needs to be. up to here. There we go, that works. Just doing a quick little fill in. area looks very very good nice big open spaced park and there's enough connections I think here to this road and as you can see now which which is something I was talking about earlier is that there's no issues with connections to I've seriously got to remove that now. Um, there's no problems with traffic. There's no traffic lights on these intersections, on these one-way streets. So it creates like a perfect flow, almost. So you yeah. But however, I have experimented on this before. If you have two industry areas on both sides of this highway, it gets really chaotic. You need a lot of extra on and off ramps coming from different areas to join up eventually to here, but, which I will actually do, um, but in a lot longer time when we actually get to uh, the stage when we're actually moving our industrial area away from here. So, I was thinking we can actually add like a s nice, I downloaded this custom uh, park, public soccer field. I would actually love to put this into the city. 
And right here would be great. Or even somewhere over here. Let's see, where can we get away with this? Right here. There we go, smack bang in the middle. Got a nice public soccer field. Look at that, that looks fantastic. Now I'm just going to extend this road out and see if we can just connect this up like so. Water is here, so I'm just going to paint this whole area up with, that's right, residential. And a bit more demand for industrial, so I'll put that like that and this whole area can be zoned up. This water, yep, has water. And we'll see how we go from that so far. Things are going well. We'll increase the speed of the simulation a little bit. Increase this shopping area over here. Now I guess we can do it. Oh, we still have this area to expand into. So let's do that. So we'll fill this whole area up. There we go. Remove all these trees from inside over here because we already know that they're going to be completely replaced. All this needs to be covered up. There's water over here. Yes, there is. And more parks. Sorry, not parks, trees. In this sort of manner. There we go. This area is becoming very nice. Uh, I think we can expand on this district, yes, because it has expanded beyond its borders now. So this whole area is called Velas. There we go. Like that. And now I'm going to remove this road. This temporary road is no longer required. People can stop coming in here. There we go. There we go. This road can be removed. Alright, and this highway system now is completely functioning. We're nearly we're so close to our next milestone. Just need a few more people to move in. Let's see, we need more industrial still. We have a lot of requirements for industrial, a bit more for commercial. So as soon as we hit our goal, I'll end this episode so that for next episode we can start working on perhaps some office space. this whole area in with more shops let's go into our parks and recreational tool build these footpaths all the way across wait first of all we need to add the, the actual parks themselves in so this park on either side and we'll just drag how did we do this it was from here to here, no, it was straight. We were using the straight tool from here to here, I think. Yep. 
from here to here and across to here this was just to there this was just to there and now we need to drag this out to this is the fifth one congratulations there we go boomtown we can create office space we got incinerators yes high density residential high density commercial and offices taxes beautiful taxes metro all right and a university excellent so anyway uh just finish this park off quickly like so okay do a nice little gap in a changeover in the middle like that place a few more of these park type trees okay so guys we'll end this episode here this thing being long enough uh, when we get back we still have a lot of demand for industry and we're going to be working on our office industry at least start a little bit of it so yes guys i hope you like what you're seeing i'm really motivated and really happy to see that we are doing very well look we're doing four and a half k profit every week on hard mode so this is absolutely superb absolutely awesome and i'm really enjoying it i hope you guys are true i know the progress is slow but as you can see it takes slow progress but you get all these amazing results with it so yes when we come back guys uh we'll continue into our office industry for now remember to hit that subscribe button for any episodes that are coming up until next time take care i'll see you soon bye bye